What's up guys, BrickBoys518 here, and today we're coming at you with our newest mock. It is a LEGO flatbed tow truck, or Wrecker mock. It is based off an Isuzu N-Series truck, so you'll notice in the front the design is a bit different than our traditional models and incorporates some new building techniques. So to start off with the actual design, move this little guy aside, the front of the truck, Again, it's based off an Isuzu N-Series truck. Isuzu N-Series trucks usually have these slanted headlights on the front, giving it a more aggressive look to it. So what we ended up doing is we decided, okay, let's try and use these rook tiles in a new way. So what I did was I put a normal one in its proper direction. And then what I actually did was I took a one-by-one -one brick, put a Technic connector piece that connects to normal tiles, and I actually put a cheese wo or a rook tile in it, so it's upside down, giving it this sort of slanted appearance to it. And it seems to be pretty decent design. You have a grill using snot techniques. It actually sticks out. It's built further into the truck. So you have this incorporating this black, orange, black design, but with a gray grill. Also on the front, you have these mirrors, side view mirrors, very large and can adjust the direction. It features working doors on both sides of the truck and a large enough cab for a driver to easily fit inside. And we're going to use the city truck driver. Now, this design incorporates many bricks from the LEGO City truck tow truck that you got. Um, the traditional LEGO City tow truck uses a simple winch system to haul up, haul up another vehicle. This is a flatbed design. Also, on the cab of the truck, it has orange emergency lights on the top, and that goes around on both sides. Now, I do realize there's a blank spot here. I could not find another 1x2 orange tile. I ran out of orange bricks in the making. Now that the front of the truck is over, you can go on to the sides. Now, if you can see, this side of the truck features many kit commands and control details. Now, it has several levers that can lift Oh, that is a tool. There's also a tool rack that's on the inside that you can fit. This one has a screwdriver and a hammer in. These are all levers that can lift, and this is just some little tiny detail added to fill the space. Now, once you put all these back, these are all hooked into a Technic chassis, as you can see underneath. So they're all using blue Technic connector stud connectors. Now, if you go on to the other side, you have a fuel tank basic cap here and it runs the full length of the truck and it's held in again using Technic pieces. It creates a nice large fuel detail that I think came out rather good. On the very back of the truck you have red tail lights and white reverse lights. You have some little details on the sides to extend the width of the, the rear of the truck and you also have this little sort of bar here. The winch or the hook on the bed of the truck can actually slide down and clip into there to hold any loads in. Now the one flaw with the bed of the truck, it is flat, it is tiles all around, is that vehicles tend to slide around so the hook comes in handy to hold them in. You also have this bar on the back to prevent things from going into the rear window of the truck. Now the defining part of this design is the fact that this tow truck actually functions. So the bed lifts all the way back like so uses a Technic system in here which clips into the full-on chassis of the truck. Now, it slides back in and it can be a little temperamental on the bottom since I had to allow room for the stuff to move around so it'll sometimes bump up against these. It can fit any four wide car like this coupe here or any six wide car. Any six wide vehicle works. You see the bed and the truck itself are of different width. The front of the truck is a 6 wide. The back of the truck is an 8 wide on the bed. Now we're trying to incorporate this new design feature where you have 6 wide smaller trucks and cars and 8 wide tractor trailers and larger vehicles. This is sort of a hybrid of both and some tow trucks consist of smaller truck bodies and larger rears. Now the bed itself has these little L bricks on here. I don't know the name of them to be exact which gives it a wider bed so you can fit probably a seven wide. Now on the actual truck 
the two axles on the front and rear are of dif different widths as, as well. This is a four wide axle with the wheels extending it to a six wide. This is a five wide, as you can see by this two by three tile on the bottom. This is hooked in using special bricks and is a custom axle. It's the first time I've ever done a five wide and it tends to work really well. So as you can see, this is the Lego Wrecker. Great detail, great design. I think it's one of her best mocks. And we're actually doing a follow-up. We're coming out with a livestock carrying truck using the same design, along with two more trucks. You have a octane truck. This is built using parts from the Lego City fuel tanker. And we have a power truck, which is built using parts from the Lego City repair, lighting repair truck. Now, some of you may be wondering if this is the only model we've done using the 6 to 8 transition scale. Actually, an upcoming model later this year is the Lego Ambulance. Some of you may have seen this in our recent models video. The Ambulance is actually a 6 wide front and an 8 wide back. Now, it's been modified so that it can fit, but it's far from done. We have to work on the back doors. This is just a fill-in door, and there's a ton of details to go on the inside. But the Wrecker truck fully functions, lots of detail, all sorts of hooks and levers and everything that you can fit in, tools, and I think it's basically one of our best designs yet. It can fit one driver, all right, and it consists, you can probably use a lot of the parts from the Lego City tow truck to make in this. Uh, there should be a how-to coming out in a couple weeks on it. And that is the Lego City Wrecker truck, our mock. This is Brick Boys 518 signing out.